In this video, we are going to look at how to use an iPhone to create an emoji to record a subject singing, then import that clip, along with others if desired, into Blender for use in a video, complete with a different background and or other effects. Let's get started. Go to iPhone chat and select the icon with the face with the yellow box around it, and then choose new emoji. If you have your reference image of your subject or your subject in front of you, it might help with the modeling. Choose the skin color and any freckles they may have, uh, cheeks and size, and then you can move on to hairstyle. And there's boys and girls hairstyles. Pick the one closest to your subject and tweak the hair color. You can also add highlights if your subject does have highlights and drop that color in and you have the same control as you do for the hair. Eyebrows, again, I did best effort here. Pick the eyebrows closest to my subject and uh, color was an option too, but I didn't really mess with that. Eyes, you can have the shape and the color. So you can take a look at what's available and then tweak the eye color. Mine has a little bit a little bit darker blue than the default for blue, so I'm just gonna tweak that a little bit. And then eyelashes, the ones that look closest to my subject is what I picked. And then um, for head, uh, I think she has a little more of a not as round a head as the default, so I'm gonna check the age and the shape to kind of tweak that for the younger age and a little bit longer on the shape. And then the nose, there's not that many options for the shape of the nose. I'm just going to stick with the default. And the lips, they look pretty good as well, along with the teeth options that are available. Next step is to create a new message and select the emoji you created, and then hit record. When you record, it'll capture your facial expressions and mannerisms, as well as the audio, as long as you're looking straight at your phone so it can see your face. Hit stop to stop recording, and then send the video out to either yourself or anyone else so that you can then hold on to it in the chat window and save it down locally to your photos for use on your computer. When we bring the video into Blender, we see that coming out of the iPhone, it's a little wider than we expected. So what we're gonna do is use Blender to output each frame as a separate PNG file with the proper size of 1440 by 1078. Then we'll take that sequence of images and use it in our final video. We'll go back to video editor where we're going to try to make our final video. We have a nice starry background and we're going to grab our image sequence in from the emoji video. We see it's bigger, so we're going to add an effect strip that's going to transform it by scaling it down and then do a alpha over, which is going to sit it on top of the background image. And we see that it's, it looks pretty good, but it's not transparent. That blocky rectangle is getting in the way, so we're going to fix that. We're starting with a folder of non-transparent PNGs and we wanna to get to a folder of transparent PNGs so that we can use that image sequence back in our main video in front of our starry background. We're gonna to get to the transparency by processing each image in the sequence through a custom script in Blender. The script starts by pulling each image in the source folder validating its size, and then from each edge of the image, the top, the bottom, left and right, upper, lower, left and right, it's gonna walk down until it finds the actual emoji head itself and make a note of that so that it can go back and then for every boundary where that head is, it can make everything else outside of it transparent. Once that's done, it'll save the file off and allow it to be used in a sequence for the final video. Back to our final video, we're gonna add our transparent image sequence in front of our starry background. When we first bring it in, it's gonna be larger than we need, so we're gonna add an effect strip to scale it down and apply an alpha over in the blend area to make sure it sits in front of our starry background. A quick test of the new video shows that the emoji is behaving as we expect in front of our starry background. If we wanna add a second subject to this video, we can shift our first one over and then do the same thing by searching for and adding a new image sequence of transparent images with our second subject singing. When we bring the second subject in, it will also be larger as it comes out of the iPhone. And what we wanna do is scale it down and also apply an alpha over so it sits in front of our background. And then once that's in place, we can shift that subject over if we choose, and then do a quick test to see if they're synced up with the singing. 
If they're not, you can shift one or both of them around to make that lined up. And they have the audio track. Here's how it came out. Be the kings of Orienta, Berengus, we travel so far. Feel the fountain more, and mountains follow the younger star. We three kings of Orienta, bearing we travel so far, feel the mountain more, and mountains follow the yonder star.